this is off to battle with Jeremiah Bork, and I'm doing one of my battle replays. This is uh, Queen Kalida against Queek Headtick. And Queek has a decent army going, and so do I. So I have my formation set up over here. Kalida over here helping her with a bunch of artillery. She has to be really packed close in order to get an advantage there. I was using my Shabti trying to damage the artillery in the back, and I did succeed somewhat. And of course, the menace below is starting up. So far, you know, fairly typical week. My Casket of Souls doing very good work against Skaven Slayers. Of course, this is a little bit of a problem. So at this point, I'm having uh, people that come in and try and help the artillery out because I was mainly concerned about wiping out there, so I didn't think that my artillery was going to be. Uh, here I have a whirlwind going on to uh, try and take out some of the chaff. So, Kalita here, freshly on her Necro Sphinx. I say freshly, she gets to look like level, what is it, 14, 16? She hasn't had it for that. Of course, Queep doing his own version on the Venom Wave right there. Kill, kill again. So, the name of the game here is just to give these archers time to fire and wear down the opposition. But, because of the reload nerf, it's a lot less effective than it used to be. I have some chariot action going on here. I'll probably forget about those. <laughs> Putting them on skirmish mode and just hoping for the best. They really can handle ourselves in a pretty decent pile. All I need to do for Queek is just hold him somehow in check. I have a Necrotech trying to help do that. Pink Kings get a lot simpler once you can get multiple war stances. Until then, it's uh, dealing with a lot of inferior units, but that's just the end of the game. Here I have the Shanti Blade Bows trying to deliver some value with melee. If something's not anti large, they can deliver pretty good value. There's another Venom Wave to help deal with this gag. And the Caspian of Souls firing straight onto the storm building. That's definitely not fun. They're not hurting Kalita much because she has regeneration. So it has to be pretty bad until she's going to actually do this. So even though the Queen has been trying his best to take out that front line. We have not appreciably lost it. I brought my Necro Tech back to try to deal with Clan Rats. But you see that. I suppose it's very difficult lines of fire, but. They have ammunition for days. So I'm just wearing them down and making sure that Queek doesn't get a free ride. If he's drowning in skeletons, he's not doing a lot of other damage to much more value than his It looks like that. This chariot has done it all for itself. Oh, that's not all. That's a melee chariot, so that's not considered anything that would be on Switch. Even though we brought, you know, a half decent army, this is just difficult wearing through all, all the numbers.
Looks like Pete's finally thinking better of his life choices. And that's pretty much a wrap. I hope you've enjoyed the scenery. Lots of nice arrow trails there. So, this is Jeremiah, and until we're off to battle again, take care.